Hey everyone, this is Andres from Marmoset. I'm going to talk about some of the changes and updates to the Panorama processing tools in Marmoset SkyShop 107. This tutorial will walk through some SkyShop basics and also show off the new GPU-powered convolution and filtering tools. Let's take a new Panorama and drag it into the input slot. You may notice that SkyShop now warns you about texture format issues, such as compression or image resizing. For instance, this input image has been resized and is limited by the max size in the texture settings. And we want to sample it at the highest resolution possible, so we can opt to fix it now. And next, let's create new cube maps for the processing data to be stored in. One for specular and one for the skybox. And finally, select low quality and do a quick preview. We can add this sky to the scene as usual and set it as the global sky in this sky inspector. And everything seems to be working. SkyShop now allows you to blur entire cube maps once you're done computing them. For instance, if we want the background to appear slightly blurry and out of focus, we can go to the skybox slot, click GPU blur and pick a blur amount. This will run a quick Gaussian filter over the entire cube map and save the results. We can run the filter many times to also achieve the desired effect. And we can run the Gaussian blur on the specular cube map to blur the highest MIP level of reflections. This can be desirable if you want the highest reflection level to appear slightly fuzzy. It can also help eliminate some aliasing issues and white speckles you may notice on models with high normal map frequency. Because GPU Blur requires HDR render targets, it's currently a feature only available on Unity Pro and may not function when your project is set to some platforms like mobile. You can temporarily change your project settings to do the image processing and the GPU Blur. You could even do the image processing in a separate project if this turns out to be an issue. SkyShop 107 also adds the ability to do the entire compute step on the graphics card. You'll see a GPU Compute button next to Regular Compute, and when you click it, SkyShop runs through all the cube maps instantly, computing all the specular MIP levels on the graphics card, and often leads to higher quality than the CPU Compute method. Because GPU Compute requires HDR render targets, it's also only available on Unity Pro. To those it's not available to, CPU Compute is the tried and true method that will get you similar results, provided that you set the quality settings high enough. Under the advanced options, you'll see a new field for specifying the max specular exponent. This is the specular power or the sharpness used for the sharpest reflection MIP map of the specular cube map. If we disable highest MIP as reflection and compute, we'll see that even the highest level is blurry. And if we set this to be a much higher amount, like 4096, the highest specular reflection is going to be sharper and the ones following it in the MIPMAP chain are going to be powers of two less. This can be useful if you want to get very blurry reflections. For instance, you can start the MIP exponent chain very low. Or if you want to start very high, such as many PBR shaders now set their direct lighting exponent to be quite high, like 2048 or 4096. Using cube maps generated with this max exponent will let your reflections sort of match that. And hopefully that gets you started with the new image processing system. As always, thanks for following along, and don't forget to subscribe to the Marmoset YouTube channel for more tutorials and videos.